Today we start our devotion by giving our heartfelt praise and abundant thanks to our Heavenly Father. His steadfast love endures forever. His mercy is new every morning. His faithfulness stretches to the skies. His grace is sufficient for us. In this devotion, let's delve into God's Word in 2 Chronicles chapter 7, verse 14. It reads, If my people who are called by my name will humble themselves and pray and seek my face and turn from their wicked ways, then I will hear from heaven and will forgive their sin and heal their land. This verse is set in a time of great significance in the history of Israel. Solomon had just finished building the magnificent temple, and God was affirming his covenant with Solomon and the Israelites. This promise from God was conditional, dependent on the actions and attitudes of his people. Here, we see God reaching out to his people, placing the future of the nation in their hands. It was a stark reminder to Israel that humility, prayer, seeking God's presence, and repentance from wicked ways were necessary for them to experience God's forgiveness and healing. The context of this passage remains relevant to us today as God's words continue to echo through the centuries, reaching us in our contemporary times. As followers of Christ, we too are God's people, called by His name. We too are implored to humble ourselves, to pray, to seek God's face, and to turn from our wicked ways. In a world that often promotes self-reliance, God's call to humility is even more significant. Humility requires us to recognize our insufficiency and our dependence on God. It necessitates us to see our rightful place before the Almighty, understanding that it is Him who gives and takes away. Prayer is our direct line of communication to God. It is our dialogue with the Creator of the universe. Through prayer, we express our adoration, confess our sins, give thanks for His blessings, and submit our petitions before Him. Seeking God's face is about desiring His presence, seeking to know Him more deeply and intimately. It's about pursuing a relationship with Him and longing for His guidance in our lives. Turning away from our wicked ways involves conscious repentance, a deliberate turning away from sin and turning towards God. It means not only confessing our sins, but also making a genuine commitment to change our ways and live a life that is pleasing to Him. And what is the promise when we do these things? God hears us. He forgives us. He heals us. What a tremendous promise that is. This verse gives us a roadmap for personal revival and national healing and a promise of God's loving response when we follow it. Let us pray. Father in heaven, thank you for your word that guides us. Thank you for your promises that uplift us. We pray for humility to recognize our need for you. We seek your face and we ask for your forgiveness for the times we have strayed from your path. Heal us, O Lord, and help us be vessels of your healing in this world. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. As we part today, remember, my dear brothers and sisters in Christ, continue in God's word. Continue to seek his face. Let his spirit guide you in all you do. May his grace, love, and peace be with you. Until next time, God bless you.